here with Coach Fitzgerald. Coach, now, nice solid win last week. How would you evaluate the team now that you've seen them play together? Well, you know, it looked like our veterans played well. We came out, we started fast. Uh, but then when we had some adversity happen, when we were up 30 to nothing, we were looking more at the scoreboard than we were at the situation. And, you know, we learned from it, we'll grow, and we'll improve from it. Do you feel like with the schedule you guys have for non-conference games, there was a need for you to set that precedent early in the season? I think the, the important thing is to improve. And, and each team is different, and, and you just need to continue to work to get better. And, and, yeah, I mean, you always need to start fast, especially the way the Big Ten scheduling is set up where you play typically more of your non-conference games and then in the conference play. So critical we start fast, and it's going to be a great challenge against Eastern. They've got a veteran team and guys that have played and been successful and now we're going to need to go out and improve this week. It was definitely a solid first game. It was a great start to the season. Something we definitely wanted to come off to. Wanted to push the tempo and uh, push the ball in the air and run the uh, run the ball on the ground as well. And we did an excellent job. But you could tell it was our first game. So we got a lot of improvements to make this week. How would you describe the team chemistry? Oh, it's awesome. Um, each year that I've uh, been here, uh, the, the guys have grown closer and closer together, and we just keep recruiting awesome guys, uh, not just good football players, but good guys off the field. So uh, you know, each year we're able to just bond and get to know each other better, and Coach Fitz has done some great things to help us gel over the off seasons as well. Do you guys feel like Northwestern is going to be a surprise this year? Um, if, we can, if we can take it one week at a time and just focus on what we need to do, uh, I believe you know, we could have a successful season. That's only if we do that. You know, we don't need to revert to anything else, just focusing one week at a time. Who would you say this year has stepped up in the leadership role? I know it's early in the season, but... Yeah, well, a lot of guys have. You, know, you look at our leadership council, uh, from the seniors on that group, from Wooten, and, and you, know, you look at the job that Mike Kafka has done, and Sherrick McManus, and Brendan Smith, and Brad Phillips. Those guys have done a great job, along with our entire senior class class and the rest of our leadership council. And, you know, the first sign of a leader is a man that can lead himself. There's a lot of guys and the whole offense really had to step up, starting with our offensive line. Uh, those are guys that set the tone for the for the offense. So um, if those guys play well, we're going to be successful. It's nice to know that we have the, the veteran leadership and the guys come back to to fix it and be ready for next week. We had four seniors in the room, three starters last year at wide receiver, and I've definitely embraced the role to step up this year. A lot of guys are looking up to me. Fifth year guy, they've been here around the program for a while, so it's definitely time for me to step up. What are you looking forward to the most this season? I gotta get to Well, I would probably say winning a bowl game. We haven't done that here since 1949, and like I said before, if we could take it one game at a time, we can get to that position to a bowl game, then take that game one at a time. We can win a bowl game. That's just being consistent every week, too. Um, that would be the best thing. If we can come out and prepare every day and be consistent as possible on every Saturday and go one game at a time and hopefully win a bowl game. Um, that'll make my season.